Hi, I'm Barb Hartman. I'm a naturalist here at Tamarack Nature Center in Ramsey County. And in this video, I'm going to be dissecting an owl pellet. What is an owl pellet? A pellet is basically um, a smushed together clump of all the stuff that doesn't get broken down during the bird's digestive system. So owls like this one swallow their prey whole with the bones and the fur and the feathers and everything. And then the next day they regurgitate all those leftover parts as a pellet and it's called casting a pellet. So I have a pellet here. And we get our pellets from a place called Pellets Inc. Uh, it's really or easy to order pellets online, so I recommend them, we'll share a link for them. And they heat treat their pellets, so they are safe to handle, which is why I'm not wearing gloves. Um, always, if you're dissecting a pellet, make sure that you still wash your hands really thoroughly afterwards, just to be on the safe side. And if you are going to try this at home, which I highly recommend, um, I like to have a tray that I can use to put my pellet on or at least a piece of paper so that it's easy to clean up when I'm done. And when you're all done, you can just scoop it up and you can return it to nature or you can dump it right in your compost. All right, I have my owl pellet here and already on the outside, I can see some texture from the fur that the owl ate. And I can see some little pieces of bone that might be sticking out here. So I'm excited to find out what's inside. When you start dissecting your owl pellet, there's really no wrong way to do it. Um, just kind of gently start to pull it apart. And wow, inside here, I can see we already have some bones that we're looking at. So let's see if we can pull something out here. It's a good idea to be careful, um, but some of these bones are so tiny and so fragile, uh, you'll probably break some of them along the way, and that's okay. So let's see what we can find here. This is a little teeny tiny rodent tooth. Let's see what else we can... Sometimes they're a little bit hard, to pull apart, so just do a little bit at a time. Oh, cool, here is a hip bone. So a really cool tool that you can use is a bone sorting chart. And if you order pellets online, usually they'll send you some kind of bone identification information. And you can try to match up the bones that you find. And this one looks a lot like a rodent hip bone there. And if you want a more involved project, you can actually try to put the entire skeleton back together um, using as many of the bones as you can find. Usually there are some missing, um, but that's kind of a fun project. This one is another rodent, and we can tell um, from the incisors and the shape of the skull here but it's bigger than a mouse. So this one is probably something like a big rat. Um, and this was put together by a couple of our volunteers a few years ago. All right, back to our pellet. Uh, we have a bunch of bones that we've already pulled out here um, from a few other pellets. Let's see, oh, here's a skull hiding in the fur in here. And there's another piece of a skull. And over here we have some femurs or leg bones. You can tell from the little ball joint that goes into the hip socket. And we even have some bigger bones that we're trying to figure out what those are, maybe something like a ground squirrel. So this is something that I definitely would love to see you guys try at home. Even if you've done this before, it's always a surprise. You never know what you're gonna get inside your owl pellet. So keep an eye on our Facebook page. We have more virtual programming coming for you soon.